today through the strength of heaven light of sun radiance of moon splendor of fire speed of lightning swiftness of wind depth of the sea stability of earth, firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's eye to look before me, God's wisdom to guide me. God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me. From all who shall wish me. Good morning. Today is May 16th, 2020, Saturday in the fifth week of Easter. On behalf of St. Juliana Falconeri Catholic Church in Fullerton, California, welcome. And thank you again for joining us this morning. The mass readings today can be found at usccb.org. You can also find the readings linked at our parish website, which is stjulianachurch.org. We invite you to visit that website frequently, as well as our social media pages. There you can find faith formation resources and parish updates. We also invite you to participate prayerfully this morning as Father Michael Poncharelli celebrates the Mass. Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. We've gathered together to celebrate the mysteries of the Holy Mass this Saturday morning. Let us remember the times when we've been faithful to the guidance of the Holy Spirit in our lives and give thanks for the times we've turned away from the gifts of the Holy Spirit to our own selfishness we ask pardon and redirection. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of the baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life. Grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may, by your guidance, attain the fullness of glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derbe and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. 
The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from, pre from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go on to Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Be in my mind, in my lips, and in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, if the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And if they kept my word, they would also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of me, on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A most intriguing set of readings. Totally confusing on the one hand, very understandable on the other, and how to live it is a difficulty. Here's part of the problem, or part of a faith journey. They were prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. Why would the Holy Spirit prevent these missionary disciples from preaching the good news of Jesus Christ? I don't know, but the Holy Spirit has its ways that are simply not my ways. And so I must believe that it's on account of some issue of life, since the Holy Spirit is the Lord and the giver of life. And so what might that be? Maybe it's they weren't ready to die for their, for their cause, for their own words as we find in the gospel. Remember that the world hated Jesus and he lived through it first. Thus, he's our companion when people simply don't like what we Christians or Catholic Christians preach and the way that we live. It's not only the way that we live, a moral code, but it's a 
preaching code as well, a set of beliefs. We believe, first of all, in Almighty God. And that's what Jesus gets to at the very end. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name because they do not know the one who sent me. They don't know God. Thus, they cannot know Jesus the Son or the Holy Spirit, the giver of life that comes from the both of them. We need to know God and God's ways first. And God and God's ways must be the way to life. And he closes the doors, so it seems, to those things that simply do not give life. And he opens the doors widely to those, to, to those things that do give life. And we believe that and we pray that, especially in the funeral prayers. But first, please open wide the gates of paradise to your good servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Let us open the doors of God and his son Jesus and the guidance of the Holy Spirit to all issues that give life and close those doors to the issues that do not give life or are not life-giving. Jesus, who came as an example of the Father who is so full of life that he gave it away at creation, Jesus is so full of life at the end of his life, the crucifixion and death, that he rises from the dead and gives more life. And the Holy Spirit, with his gifts, guides us to life, especially the gift of courage, the gift of understanding, and the gift of wisdom and prudence. Let us live these gifts, for they are life-giving, and turn away from those that are not life-giving. Go back and reread today's scriptures and find what it might mean to be prevented by the Holy Spirit prevented from preaching, what it might mean to suffer persecution. And lastly, consider in the one hand today's readings and in the other the Sermon on the Mount, especially the last of the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are you when they persecute you and insult you because of me. Your reward in heaven will be great. Going forth to a great reward in heaven, we live our life guided by Almighty God, Jesus his Son, and the Holy Spirit their gift today and always. God bless. Spirit and God's mercy, we offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For all who are discerning a vocation to service of the church through priesthood or religious life, may the Holy Spirit's gifts of fortitude and wisdom guide them in their decision making, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, may the Lord help them face the challenges of their duties with patience, discretion, and integrity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members experiencing, experiencing discord, may their hearts be open to the light of Christ and bring them reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all young people in our parish of St. Juliana, Diocese of Orange and around the world. May the Lord make known his will for them as they seek to live the Lord's life in meaning and purpose. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who serve the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with wisdom and understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may be welcomed into paradise by the risen Christ. For all who are ill, that God's hand will heal them. For everyone for whom we've promised to pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we bring to you today and answer them through your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It'll become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer to you. Fruits of the vines, works of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Our altar table is ready now. I pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself to us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plene su celle et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venet in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all who minister in your name. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your great mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Juliana, Peregrine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, using the words that Jesus taught us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On your day, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Let us pray. Oh, a prayer of to Christ crucified in time of pestilence and contagion. Dear Lord Jesus, Savior of the world, 
our secure and unfailing hope, have mercy on us and deliver us from every evil. We beg you to overcome the scourge of this fearful virus, which is spreading from place to place. We beg you to heal the sick, to protect the healthy, and to support those who work for the health care of all. Show us your face of mercy, O Lord, and save us in your great love. With the intercession of Holy Mary, your mother and ours, ever close to us in our needs, we ask you this, Lord Jesus, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his glorious resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go and glorify the Lord by the way we live our lives. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia, Quia Quemeruisti Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicut Dixit, Alleluia, Ora Pro Nobis Deum, Alleluia. Mm -hmm.